Okay, get ready for our Alaska trip. Here's a sneak preview about halfway through. We kind of give you a insight of the videos that are coming up. Hi, Women Explorers. Coming to you from the Melchina River in central Alaska. We're probably 40 or 50 miles east of Glen Allen on the Glen Highway between Palmer and Glen Allen. And we're on our way to uh, Valdez, actually. We've been in Alaska now for what, five weeks? Long time. Yeah, a long time. We've been driving a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we sat a lot too. We were in Seward for about a week and a half or two weeks. Yeah. And then we uh, went down to a place called Deep Creek, which is by Nanilchik. We were supposed to do some clamming there, but unfortunately the day we were going to go clamming, the weather was too bad and they were expecting six to seven foot seas, which yeah. didn't break our heart to not have to go out in that. Being uh, yeah. scuba divers, we don't cherish days like that. In fact, it's better just to bag it and stay home. Otherwise, yeah. you take the chance of getting seasick. So right. we just enjoyed our visit with uh, Ben and Rebecca from His and Hers, Alaska, or His and Hers Vlogs now, and uh, Dan and Michelle Photography. They have a blog, and so we had a nice visit with them, and then um, then we separated ways. Uh, we went with Dan and Michelle down to Homer and uh, checked that place out. Meanwhile. Uh, Ben and Rebecca are going up to the uh, to toy to talk. To toy to talk. We didn't feel like driving all that dirt road, so we decided to go down to Homer. So, and Mark got his fill of king crab. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I probably had close to a pound. Oh. It was almost too much, but boy, was it good. Yeah, it was very good. <laughs> Once in a lifetime treat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, and we're trying our new uh, tripod out here, so uh, let us know what you think. Um, so far, so good. And actually, this is our first time to sit down and just video us as talking heads. Um, <laughs> figured we probably should do that sooner or later, so I guess this is later, and here we are. Yeah. So, how have you been enjoying Alaska so far? Um... It's different than I thought it was going to be, but I'm enjoying the peninsula much better. Uh, unfortunately, the fire with the Yeah, when we first arrived, fire was kind of a bummer. The first part, end of June and early July, the fires were bad. And um, we actually went to Juneau on our first leg. We took the ferry from uh, Skagway over to Juneau to see my good buddy from college, Matt, and his wife, Sharon. And we went on a whale watching tour out in the bay there, yeah. and we couldn't even see the mountains in Juneau because yeah. the smoke was so bad. And you could smell it in the air, unfortunately. But the mm. we got we did get to see a little baby whale playing for like 20 minutes. Yeah, that was so cool, and we'll the, have that. The cruise footage. was nice. Yeah, yeah the, the cruise, cruise was, was nice. cool. We got to see yeah. some bald eagles. In fact, uh, we got heckled in Juneau for being so enamored with all the bald <laughs> eagles we saw by the locals. They go, "Wow, well, we see those every day." <laughs> <laughs> well, being from the lower 48, yeah. especially spending 32 years in Arizona, it was a rare occasion to get to see an eagle, yeah. so it was naturally we get excited, so it was cool, and still is. And then we, I like the hikes there in Juneau, uh, it was very wooded, and then you had to walk these planks. It was actually rainforest, so yeah. it was very wet. Yeah, it was amazing, um, and it was humid. Uh, and hot. Yeah, it's hot, so we get a little goofy on one of our videos, which you probably already saw by now, but we had fun. Sharon and I were kind of hot, so we were yeah, it was around. <laughs> literally above 80 degrees, which uh, is super hot for Juno, and at that same time it was 90 in Anchorage. So, so after... Uh, here, Jake yeah, in the background. Jake in the background. <laughs> after uh, five nights in Juno. We got back on the ferry and went over to Haines, yeah. and then we headed up uh, to Toke, and we actually went up to Fairbanks. Um, we had a little bit of business to take care of in Fairbanks, yeah. and while we were there, we... Um, the Chino Hot Springs. Yeah. And the Ice Museum. Yeah, we went to the, the Ice Museum. It was really neat. And the Ice Bar. 
<laughs> ice bar. <laughs> and a martini. And we had an apple martini. We shared one. It was, it was very strong. I think one was enough. So it was uh, probably the best hot spring we've been in. We've been to five hot springs on this tour so far. And um, that was just absolutely awesome. I really enjoyed it. I actually had a sprinkler in the middle of the pond where you could go cool off if you wanted. And then they had some water jets there. Yeah, that were great for your back. back. Awesome back massage. It was really nice. And radi radium was nice. Yeah, radium was a good hot spring. Oh. And it was only $5, so <laughs> that's Yeah, nice. it was in a, a Canadian national park. So for five bucks, and the yeah. facility was phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, as a park goes, it was top notch. I mean, it looked like a fairly new facility and very well kept up and very clean. So I give it a, a definite five out of five on that one. Yeah, sure. they're pretty nice. And the one on the side of the mountain, of course. I yeah, the one out out in the you know, <laughs> wild, where uh, Janelle biffed it with the camera. <laughs> so. Yeah, and that was a nice. Episode. I might put this video out there before, kind of give you a um, kind of a teaser of the Alaska videos, or I might wait till after. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Yeah, it might be a good little teaser, so it shows you what's coming up with the Alaska videos coming up. So we're about halfway done with Alaska, I think. Yeah, we still have to go to Valdez, and. Uh, should be interesting there. I, I wanted to do uh, halibut fishing down in Homer, but it just didn't work out. And, and I know I could have gone on a charter, but uh, the cheapest charter I could find was about $350. Yeah. And, and honestly, being a scuba diver, I've never paid more than $200 to do a scuba dive. Yeah. And um, I just, it's not in me to do it. I, and besides that, $350 I'll buy a heck of a lot of halibut. Yeah. Like fresh halibut at well, any store. And so. that was for one person. Yeah. So, so and then if you wanted to fly, it was almost $700. Yeah. Person, it's so. super expensive. And you know, for somebody that uh, hasn't done some really cool bucket list things, I would highly recommend it. Oh, yeah. Um, but for me... We've done a lot of it. I've done so. so much, you know, weeks and weeks in the Grand Canyon yeah. and, and scuba trips and you know, I just, uh, That's why I don't know. That's why we did the crab night. Yeah. We just splurged. Yeah. Got a couple pounds of crab. So we, uh, we'll we bring back some cod for our friend Wes. And we, we did bison halibut, too. So, how have we been doing in the Lance Camper? Love it. I like mm -hmm. it so, so much better. I, I We got this just before we left to the Baja, and we really liked it. And... I, I think we've taken to it quite well. Yeah, so far this year already, we've spent 15 weeks living out of this 1181. It's a 2012 model, and I must admit that I was very skeptical at first, especially our old one was a 1030, and it was, uh, you know, kind of small, and for a giant like me, it was kind of cramped. But this one, yeah. I'm totally comfortable in. I mean, we sleep really well in it. Yeah. and. Uh, the cats do really well. And the solar is doing phenomenal. Oh my gosh, um, yes. We can we have everything. Yeah, we have had some cloudy days, which, uh, you know, I think probably the lowest it's gotten is around 50%. And on some of those cloudy days, I could only get it up to about 75%. But on a day like today, right now, it's at 100%. And uh, like, if you didn't watch my install video, um, you know, look for the link up above. We'll link it to uh, this video. Down below. Or down below, wherever. <laughs> wherever I figure out <laughs> to put it. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a 2,000 watt um, Victron Multi Plus Compact Inverter, and the thing is just awesome. Yeah. Last night, just for giggles, I, um, I started the generator because it was hot. We were down in Whittier. Yeah. And I was running the air conditioner, but I turned on the microwave and I had the new wave going at the same time. And this inverter is one that will supplement uh, yeah. weak AC with power from your batteries. And it worked flawlessly. And so, yeah. it was really great. It worked pretty good. Do you, someone needs to get over the BAS battery anxiety syndrome. syndrome. Yeah. It's okay if it goes below 50 on a lithium. Mm -hmm. So... 
<laughs> yeah, I know. When we were in Mexico, I didn't have the Victron equipment hooked up, so no. really I was flying blind, and I'm willing to bet that it probably never was uh, charged as fully as it has been on this trip. Oh, because no. at that time we only had it an 80, great, we had though. an 85 watt oh, uh, solar panel, yeah. and now we have 320 watts between two panels. It works great. So it works great. He's got too many buttons and screens to look at. Now. Yeah, too much information. <laughs> no TMI. But he's enjoying it, and it's working fantastic. I can use all my appliances, and actually, I curl my hair once in a while, and it takes less. Yeah, and the curling iron the, doesn't use much. Yeah, it doesn't use much. The microwave uses the most, and then what else was high? The new wave is high, and yeah. the hair dryer is high. Those are yeah. probably around 1,200 watts and each. We don't, like if we're on the solar only, we don't run them all at the same time. No, you, you couldn't. And then the new wave, or the Instapot's nice, because once it gets up to pressure, then it stops, which doesn't take long, so. Yeah, I mean, um, it'll be at uh, the uh, Instant Pot, the six, Quart ones. Well, we have the three. Quart oh, the now. three quart. We okay. Have three, quart now. three quart will take about 800 watts AC to get it up to pressure, and then it drops off to below yeah. 100 watts. So. And we did an unboxing on the three quart. Yeah. We did the six quart while we were in Baja, and it was just too. It, I mean, it was usable, but obviously, it, I got the three quart, and it works much better. I can store it better and. It's just uh, it's just the right size for just the two of us. And then uh, we're I'm just enjoying this river. It's really nice. It's like a glacier green over there. Yeah, and there's wild raspberries all over the place. So you know, this place is uh, definitely the home for many bears. So I do have my bear Bears spray in hand. <laughs> being next to a stream and with this many wild raspberries. And I actually went down there and looked and there's a, quite a few bear prints down there in the sand. So, you know, they've been wandering around. So yeah. Maybe we should show them a picture, a shot of the river. Oh, I took video of it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I well. took video of it. I'll, I'll put it at the beginning or the end. Okay. So this is our first sit down. Um, and I think I'll put it at the beginning, kind of give them the teaser of what they're going to look for sure. in Alaska. Yeah. We've got some kind of funny videos. Uh, you know, we goofed around a little bit more. So, and uh, some beautiful, when we saw the scenery, we filmed it. And the glacier was nice. We did some hiking there. This is a lot more humid here than I anticipated. And bug spray. Make yeah. sure you have that bug yeah. spray. As long as you have the bug spray, then it's really not that bad. I don't think. No, and you know, along the ocean where you get an ocean breeze, oh, no mosquitoes. It was really you know, nice. In Homer, there was no problem with mosquitoes when you were next to the ocean. When we were at Ben and Rebecca's house, they were in town a little bit. Oh, yeah. There were mosquitoes there, um, and there's mosquitoes here. <clears throat> but even last night, Whittier, we were fairly close to the ocean. Of course, the wind was howling all night, so oh, it really yeah. wasn't an issue there we're either. The camper. But, so what's your uh, highlight of the trip been? Um, I like the hiking in Juneau. Um, the forest. I don't know you didn't like it. You didn't like the closed in area. Yeah, uh, for I the hiking, it. I like the hike up to Exit Glacier. Exit Glacier was nice. That was neat. We did that three Twi or four yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, we did a few times. Yeah, because it's uh, really cool and it's neat to go up there um, multiple days because you can see how it changes. Yeah over in just a short period of time. Of course, it is summer, and it is fairly warm here. Even today, it's in the high 60s yeah. right now. Very well, comfortable outside. I think the hot springs, too, for both of us. Yeah, the we hot both, springs. We both enjoy the hot springs. And I think that's uh, yeah. forest fires. You can't and, help that. You know, when you're in a forested area, we've had them in Colorado, we've had them in Arizona, and it's just part of living yeah. in the West. And I think you like the crowd the best. <laughs> yeah, the crowd is <laughs> awesome. Him and Dan were just sitting there rubbing their bellies. They were like all happy. Yeah, fat and happy. Yeah. For sure. It was really nice. It was, oh, the king crab was fabulous. So. But, you know, we saved a lot of money when we didn't go on the, the charter, so we really didn't spend a lot. You know, one thing we have to say, too, about the Lance is we can camp wherever we want. Like right now? Yes. No charge right here. Um, 
this place is this is more primo than any yeah. pay for campground that you will ever stay at but the problem is you know anything over 25 or 30 yeah. feet you're not going to get in here and some of the approaches the other night we uh did a uh was on cook inlet it wasn't too far off the road but getting in and out of there somebody had tried to berm it up to keep people out but there were no signs posting no trespassing and actually oh, there were some nice. other folks back yeah. in there and uh well, we you know woke up with i even yeah we <laughs> woke up with a uh, german couple that were in a and then land cruiser two, uh, bands and oh, two TV. cars and a tent yeah but I scraped the trailer hitch going in and out of there, so. Yeah, we were the big boys in that outfit. Yeah. But everybody's copacetic, it's really nice. And they pick up after themselves, and it's so nice having, you know, we kinda, you know, we're around a lot of band dwellers, and then some of our friends have big rigs, so they can't go. I think the free spots were the best. Yeah, they definitely are. But, because you can get away from people, and that's. What we like. What we like, I mean, yeah. we like meeting people and we've met yeah. some cool people but there's also a time just to be off by yourself and yeah this camper affords that plus we've been able to pull our jeep we have a 2012 um wrangler jk two-door four-wheel drive and um we've pulled that all the way up here we've taken it four-wheeling you'll see some videos of that um the one thing that was kind of a disappointment for me is there's not a lot of opportunity for off-roading <laughs> like we have in Colorado or Arizona or you know down in the lower 48 but um, so we did what we could do especially on the beach the and beach along a river yeah. but like it's it. been nice to have the Jeep too because uh, when we were in Homer we were able to jump in the Jeep and go do the touristy things and, and check out the whole area which was really neat yeah and then our friends had their Jeep so it was kind of nice to, you know, hey, you can go to do the guy thing one day and I can do the girl thing one right. day. So that was nice. Cause we were actually able to drive all the yeah. way to the east yeah. end of uh, the Homer Spit area, which is dead ends to a yeah. big old hay ranch. But the you definitely. The fireweed was beautiful. Yeah, and the fireweed was oh, beautiful. But the firewood was amazing. Yeah, there's uh, some cool stuff. And without a Jeep, we wouldn't have been able to get yeah. down there next to the bay. But And play with the drone. Yeah. We've got some great drone shots, too. Um, we got it when we came back to Colorado, so our Alaska trip has the drone shots in it already, so. All right, well, that's about all I have to it. say. Thank you for watching. We're Blue Moon Explorers. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Uh, please remember to subscribe. It helps us a whole bunch. And uh, we can use all the subscribers we can get. And make and, some comments. And let make us know some what comments. Let us know what you want to see, what you think. Um, and We're on Instagram and, and hit Twitter. that bell. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Yep. Right now, you're doing uh, at least one video a week, sometimes two. So uh, we're trying to ramp it up a little bit. But uh, in case you don't realize, it's, it takes a lot of work. So Yes. Uh, but we appreciate everybody watching. So thank you very much. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.